Hi guys, welcome to my Punk AliExpress affordable fashion haul. Before I start this video, I just want to make a quick disclaimer type thing. Just want to mention something real quick. Um, first of all, I know my hair is in a stupid bun. I'm trying to like figure out what to do with that. <laughs> um, but more importantly, um, I have talked on this channel before about how thrifting is very important to me. Like in my fashion videos, I've mentioned that thrifting is a good way to be environmentally friendly and sustainable and ethical in your fashion choices, but I also do think it's important to acknowledge that not everyone can thrift all the time. There's a creator on this platform that I watch called Smoky Glow and she does she's like kind of a drama channel I guess but she also talks about like important issues sometimes and she has this one video that I think is a really good video I'll link it below it's called uh, let's talk about Thomas Halbert and the environment um, and she basically says like she explains way better than I'm about to explain like if you want to know more more about this you can watch her video but she basically explains how like when you're in a lower socioeconomic class being environmentally friendly is not always like an option um, and that we should start putting more blame on like big corporations than we should be on the individual for basically putting us in this environmental crisis that the world is in because yeah I mean like it's great if you can find something cool and dope and new and fresh at a thrift store but sometimes for people who can't afford like more expensive items um, going to like fast fashion like AliExpress is kind of your only option if you want something you know up to date um, I mean, you could argue like, well, you should always just go to the thrift store, but you have to realize that like time is money too. Not everyone has an extra like hour and a half to sort through Goodwill to find something that's not only exactly what they want, that's like the new fashion, but it's also in their size. Um, that takes a lot of time. So yeah, basically <laughs> um, I'm trying to acknowledge why people might get AliExpress sometimes. I order from AliExpress. I try not to do it too often, but if there's something I really want that I haven't been able to find at a thrift store, I will just pick it up from there. With that being said, let's just get into my haul. Um, these are the cool, cheap, punk things that I found on AliExpress. So this is an interesting one to start out with because it's probably like the least punk alternative thing that I got, but I, I wasn't seeking this out. Um, I just saw this like on the on AliExpress and just like kind of had to get it. It was like seven or eight dollars and it's just this little like halter top thing that kind of looks like a bikini top. Um, <laughs> it's like the middle of winter right now, so that's fun. Um, definitely relevant. I'm a great YouTuber. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so there were a couple different ways I could go with styling this and I feel like the main two options were like 90s, early 2000s pop star and like trailer trash and I kind of went more towards the trailer trash vibe, which I don't mind. I kind of like this. I just paired it with these tiny denim shorts and this snakeskin <laughs> mini backpack, which honestly kind of clashes with this. This is a really cute top. It kind of just fits like the way that a bikini top would. Just has this like tie in the back and tie up here. And yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, I don't really know when I'll wear this because the only place I could wear this is like somewhere where I'm gonna swim anyway. So like I might as well just wear a bikini, but um, also something maybe worth pointing out for my fellow uh, small chested people out there. Um, this kind of makes me look very flat <laughs> because without a bra, like you can't really wear a bra with this. I mean you could, but like it would look kind of weird. Without a bra, my I don't have cleavage at all. So like it kind of just flattens me out a lot. But I mean, I don't really mind that so much. It's just something to like keep in mind if you have a similar body type. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I picked up were these pants. These were about $14 and they're just these loose plaid pants. I believe, I believe these were one size, but they do say medium, even though I was only prompted to select the button that says one size. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe they only had medium left, but 
They are stretchy right here and they have a lot of buttons to adjust so let's see if these fit me. I have been wanting an outfit like this and pants like this for so long. Um, it's just such like a classic punk look to have like these baggy plaid pants that stop at like um, like above the ankle. I paired them with a jean jacket, this little crop top, um, combat boots, and this little belt. And I love this as a look. I'm really happy the pants fit. My only small problem is honestly like, they're not the most flattering shape on my particular body type. Um, they would be if they were honestly slightly bigger. I can feel how tight they are on the waist, um, and it's not the belt that I paired them with. The belt is definitely just like loosely sitting on the pants just for an added aesthetic. But yeah, the pants are pretty tight at the waist. I mean, not horribly. Honestly, I think it's, it's getting like more comfortable the longer I'm wearing them. Um, I think like I'm not used to wearing high-waisted pants. I don't really own any, so um, other than like shorts, I don't own any high-waisted long pants so it's kind of a thing that I'm not used to feeling when I'm wearing pants and I'm getting used to it. I don't know if this is just me being insecure but like the way that so my thighs kind of don't really like go straight down they have like a they like go out a little bit like right here um, I don't know if they just do that's just a thing that they do so like it fits these pants particularly like fit tighter there and then baggier on the bottom, whereas like in the pictures online, something I really liked about these was the very like straight down um, baggy, baggy pants look. But I mean, overall, I am happy with these pants and this overall look, and I'm excited to wear it out sometime. Um, and you can't really beat $14 for these types of pants. I have been wanting these for so long, as I said, and I would see them at like, I don't know, like Urban Outfitters or something for like, I don't know, like 80 bucks or something ridiculous. So I am happy that I was able to find these for an affordable price. And I just realized I had this tag tucked into my butt the whole time, <laughs> but now it's out. Anyways, all right, let's move on to the next item. The next thing I got are these iconic corduroy bell bottoms here. Um, I've been wanting pants like this for so long. I feel like these would be so expensive, like anywhere. Um, I paid about 20 bucks for them, which is a little more pricey for like your typical AliExpress item, but I think pretty cheap for what I got. Pretty affordable. Um, I absolutely love these. They're definitely like a hippie vibe, and I've wanted these for so long, like some like I don't give a fuck pants, like wear with bare feet, bell bottom hippie pants. I've already tried these on and unfortunately they are way too big for me. I got a large because I remember like checking the measurements and some of my measurements like fit into medium and some fit more into large. So I didn't really know like which to select. So I went with the bigger one to be safer, which is kind of what I normally do if I'm not sure because better that something is too big because you can always take it in but I don't know these it's not just a problem with the waist like there's just too much extra fabric like, everywhere <laughs> um, unfortunately so they're very comfortable and they are honestly kind of a good quality compared to like the other the other items like paying like a little bit more you can kind of tell like how um, well made these are so yeah, um, sorry the lighting is getting weird, by the way, the sun is going down and it's just not creating the best light, but um, it doesn't matter anyways, these pants don't look that great on me, um, I don't know, I'm kind of torn between trying to fix them somehow, like trying to alter them or do some sort of DIY shrink thing, um, I don't know if this material shrinks or ordering a new pair in a smaller size and like putting these on Depop so yeah I these might be on my Depop sometime soon if you guys want them so yeah you guys um, I think that is gonna be about it for me I hope you like this little fashion haul of only three items I hope this was interesting enough tell me if you want to see more fashion videos 
or more thrift hauls. I'll probably go thrift shopping again sometime soon. I haven't been in a little bit. So yeah, um, I try not to buy from places like this too much, but I do it when I really want something and I really wanted these items and of course there's always the risk that they won't fit exactly how I think they're gonna fit, which obviously happened um, a little bit here, so I might just stick to trying on things in stores. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys on Sunday.